Minister of Finance in the Nevis Island Administration, NIA, Premier Matt Brantley, has stated that the government has not approved an increase in bus fare on the island of Nevis. During his monthly press conference on March 31st, the Premier said that he had been made aware of information being circulated of an impending price hike in the cost of public transportation, an increase the NIA had not assented to. I can tell you that as the government, we have not authorized or agreed to any fair increase. The bus drivers would have written to us, the bus association, asking for the, the, the permission, if you will, to increase their fares, and we would have responded to say to hold, we would like to look at the matter. Um, I saw some press reports saying that the matter was approved in Nevis. I just want to say that the NIA has not approved any bus increase or any fare increases in Nevis, because we were looking to see how we could work with the federal government to provide this type of buffer that I'm talking about in terms of that tax, whether waive it, you know, um, put a moratorium on its collection, whatever the case may be. So we thought we could provide some relief that way. But we saw that the bus drivers in Nevis put out something. I, I don't know if it's official, but I saw things yesterday being circulated, given the fears, the new fears for various places. So I want to make that very clear. Uh, this is not something that the cabinet in Nevis has approved because we were looking at other solutions which would not pass on that burden to the traveling public. The circulated document purporting to have been issued by the Nevis Bus Association stated that effective April 4th, 2022, passengers would have to pay an additional 50 cents for short stops and all other destinations would be an additional $1. As fuel prices continue to soar across the globe due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Premier Brantley said there is consideration by the federal government to waiver or put a moratorium on the collection of the tax on fuel so as to reduce the cost of gas at the pumps on St. Kitts and Nevis. There is, for example, in the makeup of the price of gasoline per gallon, there's a dealer margin. So the dealer gets, I think, it's fixed at 70 cents for every gallon of gas that is sold. And then there is the government levy, which is $2.25 for every gallon of gas that is sold. And so what we have been saying is that the government ought to do something about that $2.25. And hopefully, by doing something about that, bring some relief. What exactly that something is going to be, we are still working on it. But that is where we're looking at right now. So the government could reduce or maybe forego or whatever decision is ultimately arrived at. But that 225 can provide a bit of a cushion because currently every gallon of gas you buy is a tax of $2.25 that goes to the federal government. Let me emphasize that, not the NIA. He said the NIA continues to work with the federal government to determine what measures of relief can be offered to the public with respect to rising gas prices. As at March 31, 2022, the retail price for unleaded gasoline at Delta service stations was $18.01 per gallon and at Salt service stations, $17.51 per gallon. I am Jacinthia Tishiro for SKN Newsline.